Chloe, slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look, this is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. 
I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. drone date next week. Energy drinks. So uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. 
There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Hey, Max! What are you doing? Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. I can drink more later. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. I'm never leaving Why did you even home. come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or good night, sweet prince. You've been vomiting for like an hour. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. The tide is turning.
Ethan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Kate dead, Rachel dead, enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. I hate feeling this way, dark and angry. Vortex Club actually hired DJ Dude for the party. For all this shit, I feel selfish going to a party after this week. Dude, you guys got so spun out. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again. She better be careful so he doesn't pull anything. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, I'm trying. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Oh, I will. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Then you sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Wow, are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. I didn't know what to do, okay? Sorry. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Your photographs suck, Victoria. You make fun of my selfies, but most of your photos are basically headshots. I don't think Richard Avedon has anything to worry about. Oh, you did not just say that. I can't wait to see you choke when Mr. Jefferson selects my incredible photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. Uh, yeah, I saw you try to blackmail Mr. Jefferson last night because you're so incredible. That was so pathetic, Victoria. Uh, no, Creeper. We were talking about the contest. You didn't even enter a picture, so stop acting like you care. Like Mr. Jefferson gives a shit about you either. I mean, have you ever even watched his body language when you try to cuddle up to him? <sighs> Sad face. Ha ha! By the way, nobody says we have to be friends, Max. Good. I have real friends. I wouldn't want a fake one. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. Never mind. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios.
Au revoir. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? She might be evil, but... That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. That's... Oh, good. Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories.